Hi Scorpio, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, you are appreciated. And uh, if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, Scorpio, it's been a little bit of a minute there. Um, I just wanted to wait to see if the energy changed because I found that the readings were repeating themselves. Now, okay, a few of you, you're being energetically stalked by someone, okay, and they're holding on for dear life. Uh, I just I just wanted to wait to see if there was a shift here, a paradigm shift, a story shift, some kind of shift. So um, that's why I've been a little bit uh, giving things a bit of a break here, okay? So let's see what messages comes up for you. Thank you for your current concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. This is a reading for the beautiful Scorpio Collective. Uh, if you find that this reading doesn't resonate, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. You can hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave. Or you can um, book a personal reading through my Etsy shop, Tarot with Quiche. All that information and more is located in the description box, okay? Also, the Woke community has moved to the Patreon platform. Come on over. There is more than enough space for you, okay? This is a space in the 5D timeline, okay? We do things, uh, it's different. It's, it's different over there. I want to create a different environment over there, okay? All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for the beautiful Scorpio Collective? Thank you. So you have the storyteller intention in reverse. You have infinity gateways of light in reverse and you have home upright so what's up let's see what's going on Scorpio let's see what's going on what deck spirit okay purpose for by intention in reverse then <laughs> huh. Scorpio you just had to hit the ground running with your reading eh <laughs> then why am I not surprised it wouldn't have been a Scorpio reading if Scorpio please clarify um, infinity in reverse yeah please clarify home beautiful Beautiful Scorpio, I like this. But well, let's let's go deeper here. Scorpio, you have no intention of dealing with this this person or somebody or somebody's. Okay, I feel like you've healed. Okay, you've healed from some deep heartache, deep pain, deep sorrow, like third party situations, people trying to make you their side pieces, like interference from third parties you have absolutely no intention of participating in those games okay mm -mm. you're not doing it i love that you healed from this though okay yes you you've healed from situations with people who did not recognize who you were right i'm here and put some respect on my name okay so people who did not respect for you or didn't see you in the, in the light that you belong in, okay? Mm -hmm. It's like you're a diamond and people looked at you like you were a rock. Whoever you were dealing with, they were viewing you like you were a rock, right? Like you were of no value. No, you're not even doing that. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify page of cups in reverse. I 
love you. Look at this. Look at this. Like I said, yeah, you, you have no intentions of dealing with somebody, okay, who put you in a third party situation here. Mm -hmm. Someone that stepped out on you. Someone thought you were going to be their, their side piece. No, you're not doing any of that. You're not mourning. You're not crying. You ain't sad. No, you're not. Mm -mm. You poured out someone's cup. You realize that you're the prize, Scorpio. Okay. And the energy that I'm getting from you is just, it's a matter of fact. Like I was always the prize in this relationship here. So what, what the fuck am I crying about? <laughs> right? Yeah. That's the energy that I'm getting from you, Scorpio. Please clarify three of cups in reverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of you, you're not into the gossip. You're not into the, the crowd. Um, you don't deal with people who are your so-called friends, right? But talk about you behind your back. I feel like I'm feeling lone wolf energy. Like you may have one or two friends or talk to one or two family members, but you don't talk to a lot of people, Scorpio, mm -hmm. because you think that it's not, you think you've been in situations with people that create a lot of chaos and conflict in your life. And for some of you, there was a third party situation that happened with you and your person or whatever you call them now and someone that you knew. Mm -hmm. This could have been a friend or family member that your person stepped out on you with, right? And you're just like, ah, nah, <laughs> I'm not even into that kind of mess. No, 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 not doing that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm hearing um, Beyonce. Suicide before you see this tear fall down my eye. Or something like that, right? Is it don't hurt yourself? A lot of you, you're like, I'm not crying over you. I would kill myself before I cry over you and your bullshit or what you did. Mm -hmm. Wow. Scorpio, I, I know your energy. I'm a Scorpio too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see something here. Spirit, please clarify three of swords in reverse and ten of air. Three of swords in reverse and ten of air. It's like you said to yourself or you realized. It's like you, you said to someone, I can't believe you didn't see how much of a prize I was. I can't believe you didn't see who you were with or the type of person that you were with. And I'm getting this energy of kind of being disgusted, um, Scorpio. Like you really didn't recognize how unique and different I am. Like. You really didn't see that you were with a whole diamond? Wow, that's on you. Like, you're an idiot. And I feel like you're just, someone permanently turns you off, Scorpio. Yeah, they did. Spirit, can I get one on three of swords and ten of air in reverse? Somebody stepped out on you with a family member or a friend and that was like, no. <laughs> okay, you have your deal breakers. You have your violation, I'm hearing violation code, and you have your permanently turned off, okay? They're, this person will never do it for you again, whoever this was, Scorpio. Mm -mm. Wow, yeah. You have been chosen to break generational trauma and curses in your bloodline. A lot of you, you are breaking trauma and, and patterns in your bloodline of allowing people to not see you in your right light or not showing yourself or hiding, suppressing who you are or staying in relationships with people who don't respect you, don't recognize you, don't um, put some respect on your name, okay? They don't value you. You are breaking generational curses like that. Some of you come from families where like there's a lot of single parents, or the, the mother is always doing it by themselves or they're always in relationships with people who treat them like shit. You're not doing that one anymore. And you are teaching the generation that's coming after you to remember that they're the motherfucking prize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you don't settle. Good for you. And you're the one to do it. Whoever I'm speaking to, your children, male or female, they see that you don't put up with shit. <laughs> no, you don't. And you do not let people treat you like shit. No. Hmm. Good for you. Spirit, please clarify page of cups. And five of water in reverse. 
You're not crying over something. You don't even care. <laughs> wow. I feel like whatever this person did when they stepped out with... It's like someone was off limits, Scorpio, and this person went there. Yeah, they did. They did the most, okay? They did too much. Too much of the wrong thing. And it's like, you could have slept with anybody. There's 8 billion people on the planet and you could have slept with anybody. And you chose to sleep with a family member or a friend? No. Mm -mm. I will never fuck with you again. Scorpio, they went there, eh? Yeah, four weeks. For some of you, it, it took about four weeks. <laughs> 30 days to get it out of your system with someone, okay? And then you were good. Something's about to happen in four weeks, though. Some of you could have found out that somebody was pregnant. Hmm, I just want to see something here. Spirit, can I get one on this four weeks? What's this four weeks about? Some of you could have found this out four weeks ago. Or it's been four weeks since it happened. Swear, so please clarify four weeks. What's four weeks? So I'm just speculating at this time. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Three of cups said in reverse again. Four weeks. Shit. Some of you, this could have been going on for about a month before you found out what was going on with someone. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like you... Whoever I'm speaking to, it took you about a month to be done with somebody, like to just get it all out of your system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not waiting for someone anymore. Uh -uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> for some of you, you were waiting for someone to say something. I'm hearing, um, what's that song? Say something, I'm giving up on you. Some of you, you could have gave someone a little bit of grace there. As pissed as you were, you could have gave someone a little bit of grace, Scorpio. You gave them 30 days, okay, to come and tell you the truth, to come and be honest, to come and exercise some integrity. And this person did not do that. Mm-mm. So now you're not dealing with them. You could have found something out that made you just like, no, I'm not trying to move forward with you. I'm not, I don't want anything to do with you. Some of you realize that somebody was, they were just wasting your time. They were just keeping you waiting. Okay. You're waiting for them to do better. Okay. I'm hearing Mr. Get Right or Miss Get Right. And you, you're done. You're over it. I'm hearing recovery and recoup. Some of you, it took, it literally took you 30 days to get it out of your system and you're good now. Okay. Wow. Okay. Good for you, Scorpio. That bounce back, man. There's something about your bounce back. It's not normal. Spirit, please clarify. Three of cups and five of fire. Some of you could have found out that something was going on for about a month with someone and, and a third party that they had, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Scorpio Spirit was speaking to you while this was happening. Some of you could have been seeing number patterns, right? Um, repeating signs like 777, 888, 333, 1010. Someone, you were seeing 1010 10 like a motherfucker. Yes, you were. Cycles closing. New beginnings happening in your life. 555. Okay? This is about major positive changes that may appear in blessings in disguise, right? So it's horrible situations that happen, but you realize four weeks later that it was the best thing that could have happened to you, okay? 444, four, four, you're being protected. Hmm. I feel like spirit let some of you know or warn some of you about some friend and company that you had that really weren't the best for you. They didn't have any good intentions towards you. You separated from them and you have absolutely no intentions of going back around there. That's not your crowd anymore. 
Those that that's not your people's, no. You could have realized that these people were causing a lot of delays in your life, okay? And they didn't appreciate you. Okay, go away. Yeah. I feel like Scorpio, you you may have lost respect for some people. This could have been friends or family members. And there was some kind of fight. There was a fight. It could have been a physical fight or there was some kind of argument, heated argument. Spirit was warning you about this before it happened to, to prepare you. You already know this. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this is, I feel this is the past though. Yeah, this is the past. Mm -hmm. I just want to see something here. Spirit, can I get one more and pay attention to the number patterns? A lot of you, you're seeing, you're very intuitive and you are noticing a lot of different number patterns. This was your guides, angels, ancestors giving you a heads up about what was going on. Or what was about to happen. Yeah, look at this. The high priestess in reverse. Yeah. So it's like spirit was trying to give some of you. It's like they're trying to contact you in different ways. Because some of you, you weren't using your intuition. Now, either you weren't using your intuition or there's something that you couldn't hold in. About uh, stability, security, maybe even a marriage with someone, um, a housing situation with someone. Spirit was giving you a heads up that something, shit was about to hit the fan here with somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Some of you, you could have moved in with someone or bought a home with someone mm -hmm. and um, realized that the, the whole time this person had you at, as an option or this person was confused or this person was trying to confuse you. Mm -hmm. But someone had you in some type of illusion and spirit wanted you to listen to your intuition at the time. I feel like this is past. This has already happened, Scorpio. So Spirit was trying to warn you. And I mean, like, by any any means necessary, if they had to send you um, number patterns because you weren't listening to your intuition, if you're hearing a song and it kind of resonates with you, or you're listening to tarot, by any, they were trying to get your attention by any means because they wanted to warn you about somebody who was trying to keep you in an illusion about stability. Someone wanted you to think that they wanted some kind of home or solid, um, solid, stable relationship with you. They wanted stability with you and they could provide stability for you. And it was an illusion. Mm -hmm. Spirit was like, no, <laughs> Scorpio, yo, wake up, wake up. Pay attention to what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you have, you had some people talking about you. These are supposed to be so-called friends and family members that were talking about you. Behind your back. Mm -hmm. Because of some kind of home situation. Yeah. Some of them were talking about you being confused or saying that you were deluded or in some kind of delusion. If you think that someone's really going to be um, stable or solid with you. Or really wants to be in a higher level of commitment with you. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter, Scorpio. None of that matters. Yeah, all, because all it did was show you who, who was for you and who wasn't, right? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like these people, if they were if they were people of integrity and they really checked for you, even if they had any concerns about what was going on with you, they should have pulled you aside and been like, Scorpio, you know, I don't think this person's the right person for you or whatever, you know. Instead... And that's coming from a place of love, right? Instead, they just chat shit about you amongst themselves behind your back. Low-key waiting for shit to hit the fan. They were waiting for things to blow up. Spirit said they got a curveball, though. There was a curveball that was thrown into this. Hmm. Because your bounce back from something was real quick. And people are talking about that. 
Because some people thought that some kind of conflict or chaos that was happening or happened to you was going to have you crushed, broken hearted, mourning forever, not know who you are, not know what to do with yourself. Forget that you're the pride. No, that's not what happened. Mm -mm. Your bounce back game was like, boom, <laughs> you got 30 days, then you're back. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Didn't go the way how people were expecting or people thought. Wow. Okay, okay. Spirit, please clarify the devil. Please clarify the devil. Scorpio, some of you, you were dealing with someone who was highly toxic. Okay, I'm hearing extremely toxic with the devil here. This person could have had a lot of addictions, a lot of bad habits. Um, but they wanted you to feel bound or binded to them, right? Like you, you couldn't go nowhere, right? This person is still sleeping, very much asleep, okay? Sir, sure, please clarify the devil. And all that means is they're not self-aware. Mm -hmm. This person also did something that was really foolish because they're not the brightest, okay? Yeah, this is not the sharpest knife in the drawer you are dealing with. Spirit, please clarify the devil. Someone did something dumb because they're dumb. Like, I don't even know how else to say it. Yeah, you're dealing with someone who's selfish. They're greedy. They're not kind. They're not caring. This person wanted to make it seem like... It's like someone wanted you to be husband or wifey material for them and make them look good and take care of them. But they weren't that way with you. Someone was toxic as shit. It's really bad. This person, even though they knew that they brought a lot of dysfunction and arguments and problems into the relationship, someone's pettiness was next level. It was a whole turn off to you. This person could have done things to make you lose friendships or tried to make you lose friendships. Okay? And it's because they were unhappy. They're not happy with themselves. So they created an unhappy environment. Even though this person knew that the relationship wasn't good and the shit that they were doing was toxic, they still wanted you to stay with them. They still wanted you to keep up with the, the charade. Mm -hmm. So please clarify eight of cups in reverse. But this is somebody who has self-esteem issues. Okay. This is someone who doesn't like to be alone. Mm -hmm. Now they would rather you stay in the relationship and pretend to be happy than go off and be happy somewhere else or even be, be single and be happy, okay? But there's some fear here why this person, they're very codependent as well. Spirit, please clarify. Um, Eight of Cups in Reverse. Yes, wow. Scorpio, you knew this though. Or you, you figured it out. Spirit, please clarify 10 of ten of cups in reverse. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Scorpio. This is why I love you, baby. Okay. Scorpio, intuitively you knew that something was not right with somebody. And I mean internally. Okay. So they could have some kind of childhood wounds or issues or trauma that they went through. Someone I'm hearing, um, was it molestation or? Someone had something really horrible happen to them as a child. And it creates a lot of fear or created a lot of fear and anxiety in them. But this is also why they develop this toxicity. Uh, it's a defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. Spirit said that's stuck, right? So even though what they were doing to protect themselves wasn't the best, they still did it. This is like um, a narcissist. Now, narcissism is, is a learned behavior. You're not born a narcissist, right? So it, it, it comes from like trauma and inner child wounds and, you know? Hmm. Spirit, please clarify Please clarify the devil and queen of earth and reverse. Some of you, you're really dealing with a Capricorn here, right? A lot of earth here. Try. 
can't make this up. Didn't I tell you that? This was a trauma bond. Because I kept feeling fear and I kept feeling like pain, like hurt, you know, like even though this person hurt people, hurt people, even though this person knew that the relationship was hurting you and they were hurting you, they still didn't want you to go anywhere. They would have rather you stay with them and keep up the charade like everything was cool. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who in front of everybody else, they act like they're real cool. Okay, or they're the nicest person, but behind closed doors, this person was toxic as fuck, okay? Hmm. This was a trauma bond. And this is someone who wanted you to continue to trauma bond with them. This is also the generational curse and pattern that you have broken, Scorpio, in your lineage. Your children and their children's children after you, they no longer do things like this. Because they're healed and they're whole and they're not attracted to people who are traumatized or try to create trauma, traumatic experiences for them. They're not going to be attracted to that, nor are they going to attract that. And you, it started with you, Scorpio. Be proud of yourself. Hmm. You went, Spirit said to tell you, you went through a lot for a very big reason, okay? You're the one to do it. Because whoever I'm speaking to, it's like, some of you, your lineage is slavery. That's a trauma, that's a whole trauma bond right there, okay? And for some of you, I'm hearing Egyptian lineage. Hmm. Bondage. You're just used to feeling bound to something traumatic, something that hurts you, something that creates pain, fear. It's like you got used to that and, and your bloodline was used to that. Being treated like shit, being treated like you're nobody, being devalued and still staying with people like that. Giving people like that power over you. It stops with you, Scorpio. Brush your motherfucking shoulders off. Do you know what you did? Hmm. And this is also why I was picking up so strongly that you gave some, it was four weeks. You have no interest in this person. And however much you love this person, it's not there. It's not there like that anymore. You want to know why? Because now you love with discernment. You love with wisdom. You love from a place of being whole and healed. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're only interested in healthy relationships with people. Okay? You want to deal with people who are whole and healed too. That's why for some of you, you cut off some, a group of people, friends, family. You cut them off and you cut them out. For some of you, these are people that abused you, manipulated you, treated you like trash. You cut them out and cut them off and you're not looking back. Because you no longer trauma bond with people. You're not interested in any more creating any more traumatic experiences for yourself. You don't need to learn that way anymore, Scorpio. Wow. Spirit, please clarify. Eight of Cups. And Seven of Fire. Some of you are dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Black magic brings bad karma. Psychic attacks, spiritual warfare, bad juju has all been sent back to sender in spades. Ten times over. Mm -hmm. Scorpio. Some of you had people sending bad juju. Psychic attacks, trying to do black magic on you. But because your intuition is so strong. For some of you, this person... They were able to keep you in an illusion because you weren't listening to your intuition. Whoever I'm speaking to now, you are. You don't move unless your intuition tells you to go that way, okay? Mm hmm But somebody got black magic sent back to them. This person here with the devil, whoever you were dealing with, this person that was toxic as fuck, that was trying to keep you in a trauma bond, Whatever they sent to you got sent back to them 10 times over, okay? 
However, this person tried to keep you bound to them. Some of you, someone did light up some candles, okay? Someone went to a cemetery and did a ceremony there. That wasn't a good idea. And that's why I was getting someone was not the sharpest knife in the drawer. For some of you, you had family members that were doing black magic on you to keep you stuck and bound um, to toxicity, addictions, behaviors that are not helping you. Uh, someone wanted someone in this collective to keep getting into relationships with people that treated them like shit, just wasting their time, wasting their life away. They didn't want to see you in a healthy relationship with anybody. All right? And that's why you may hear through the grapevine or you may just notice through observation that this person's never going to be in a good relationship. And why is that? Because the same level of toxicity that they sent to you is exactly 10 times over, okay? <laughs> so the same level of toxicity they sent to you, they're getting that back 10 times over, okay? It's real potent. Mm-hmm. Some of you, you're going to hear that someone got beat up, domestic violence, I'm hearing, okay? Or someone got the police called on them because some kind of relationship that they're in, toxic relationship that they're in, that's that black magic backfiring. Mm -hmm. Maybe next lifetime they'll get it. No, don't do stuff like that to people. Not a good idea. Where can I get one more on this black magic brings bad karma? Some of you, you're going to hear through the grapevine or you may just, like I said, notice through observation that someone just continuously has a series of unfortunate events. Like shit just does not go good for them in their life. That's their karma because that's what they wanted for you, Scorpio. I'm telling you, God doesn't sleep. Spirit doesn't sleep. Spirit doesn't get tired. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Cups. I cannot make this up. Someone did not want to see you in a happy relationship. Someone didn't want you to see in a relationship uh, that was whole with someone that treated you well, that treated you with love and respect and saw you. Mm -hmm. Someone tried to put some kind of black magic on you, Scorpio, to prevent you from being in a relationship that was good for you. Someone didn't want to see you in a happy family dynamic, and someone definitely did not want to see you getting married. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what's going to happen to them? <laughs> Just take a wild guess, Scorpio. Ace of Cups in reverse, that's exactly what's going to happen to them. Ten times over. So this person may never find love in this lifetime. No. Maybe the next one, but this one, it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. Touch not my anointed. Okay? Because all this person did was help you to heal faster. Mm-hmm. All this person did was help you to recognize that you were trauma bonding and go within and do your healing. Okay? That's all they did. Spirit, please clarify. Can I get one on Ten of Cups? The, a lot of this has to do with inner healing, Scorpio. A lot of you, you were broken. Okay? And I say this with the most compassion. Like, I feel like I want to cry right now broken and this is trauma um generational curses generational patterns okay it was like brokenness passed down and you were the one scorpio to said i've had enough of this this is not what i'm going to be passing on to my children pain and poverty no it stops here okay the buck stops with you scorpio Spirit, can I get one on Ten of Cups and healing in reverse? Yes. Third party was or is something to do when there is nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Like I said, some of you, you're dealing with someone who wasn't the brightest. Because whoever you were dealing with, they had a lot of uh, addictions, toxic ass behavior, low vibing ways that they could have been working on. So they had something to do. <laughs> They had a lot of things to do. They just didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. But this is also someone who, like I said, hurt people, hurt people. And this is someone who was a trauma bond because they, at some point in time in their life, were traumatized. Okay? So I'm not going to completely come for this person because I do feel compassion for them. But I don't, um, I don't subscribe to the hurt people, hurt people. That's not an excuse. That's not justification. Because Scorpio, you were hurt. 
okay? You were hurt, you've been hurt. You went through uh, trauma being passed down. I mean, your whole lineage up until you was hurt. You have a choice. You decided to be a better person. You decided to go in and do your shadow work and do your healing. You decided to heal. This person has free will just like you. They can choose to do the same thing. So I don't buy that. Hurt people hurt people and it gives people justification to walk around with a chip on their shoulder. No, it doesn't. So this person decided to step out on you because they were bored. You had a whole family, higher level of commitment, and you had time to be bored. That's not bored. That's you're not focused. Someone's priorities were all out of whack. Okay? Someone was being selfish and greedy. And because of that, they lost. Hmm. And it's because they lack healing. Spirit, can I get one more on this third party? Can I get one more on this third party? Yeah. Scorpio, whoever you're dealing with, they're thinking about this right now. Oh, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. They're doing some introspection now. I feel like now that you're really done with someone, they have nothing but time. <laughs> Scorpio, they have nothing but time to think about what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. Because you're not letting them play with you anymore. And they know they can't play with you. Wow. Somebody is thinking about how they brought a lot of dysfunction into a family dynamic here. And how they sucked the emotional fulfillment out of a relationship. Because of whatever fucked up shit is going on with them. Okay? Whatever inner issues is going on with them. This is someone who's finally starting to look at maybe, maybe. It's not even. Spirit said not maybe. They know they're the problem. They know it. Mm -hmm. Because somebody is looking at themselves now like, I had a lot going for me and I had a great relationship. Spirit said, well, don't lie. It was, I, I stand corrected. Sorry. I had a relationship that I could have built on with somebody solid. Spirit said it could have been something special. But they didn't want to do the work. And in order for them to have been able to work with you, Scorpio, they had to work on themselves. And this is someone who didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. This is someone who was avoiding. They practice avoidance. This is an abandonment issue. Okay? Or, an, uh, um, sorry, not an abandonment issue. It's an abandonment um, coping mechanism. I stand corrected. Sorry, Spirit. Mm -hmm. They said it's okay. Someone knows that they're the problem. Someone knows that they have some problems, Scorpio. Yeah, they do. This person can be even thinking about going into counseling. Because mm -hmm. they're doing some soul searching right now. And some introspection on... How they mess things up with you. Why they didn't do heal things with you. For some of you, like I said earlier, you gave this person four weeks. Okay, now you could have flat out came out and told them that. Okay, you know, I'm giving you a few weeks to friggin' come to me correct. And some of you, you just silently waited for them to, to see if this person was going to be a person of integrity and come and tell you the truth about something, okay? Or deal with you like an adult, come to you like a whole adult and come sit down and reason with you about what's going on with them or what they did. And someone you dead ass was just waiting for someone to tell you the truth about something that you already knew. Mm -hmm. Wow. They're thinking about that. Wow. Okay, Spirit. Okay. Spirit, please clarify. What I love about this, Scorpio, like I said, 
No more trauma bonding for you. You've done your healing, whoever I'm speaking to, you've healed a lot. Now healing is, it's a lifelong, okay? Because you have many lifetimes that you're healing throughout. And But the beauty of it is in this lifetime, you reached a milestone, Scorpio. Be proud of yourself. Your children, if you have children, their children, their children's children. Like you changed the game for generations to come. It started with you. Because you're being watched. The example that you set and just the way you live, just the way you are. It is rubbing off. Spirit, please clarify six of coins. Because of this level of healing, and let me show you if, in case you don't believe me, Scorpio. You now, so you went from being with someone who treated you like shit, feeling stuck and tied and bound to someone who treated garbage better than they treated you. Who took from you, who used you, who abused you. Who could have influenced you even more. Because I'm not going to put it all on them. Because like attracts like. You could have had some toxic behaviors about yourself. Some addictions about yourself. And that's where you guys clicked. You know. You both like to smoke. You both like to drink. You both like sex. Whatever. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong. It's all about healing. But you now realize. That you don't need. To be with people like that. And I, I really mean it. You don't need them now and you don't want them. Some of you, these are like parents. <laughs> parents that are, were abusive to you. Family members, so-called friends that talked about you. Used you, manipulated you. Yet and still you felt like you owed them something. You felt like you had to keep them in your life because of the, their title. No, you don't do that anymore. You realize that everything that you need, Scorpio, comes from you. Your happiness comes from you. Love comes from you. Abundance comes from you. Respect comes from you. Scorpio, I can keep going here. Brush your shoulders off. This is how far you've come. You went from being doormat, doorknob, People using you for everything. I'm hearing personal cash out for some of you. You are someone's bank machine. To now realizing that your abundance belongs to you and should be spent on you. Because you worked for it. Because you earned it. Because you deserve it. Look at this. Six of coins now. You no longer deal with people who do not understand the concept of equal reciprocity. No, you don't fuck with people like that. You didn't know you were supposed to be respectful. Oh, okay, well then we're not on the same page here. Bye. People that don't show love, people that don't show compassion, people that are greedy and selfish, no, you don't deal with people like that. You don't care who they are. Parent, sibling, friend that you knew from kindergarten, so fucking what? Hmm. You realize that you are your home. You are your first home. You have to feel good within yourself, within your temple. A lot of you, you're dealing with addictions. Brush your shoulders off. You've healed so much. Whoever I'm speaking to, either you don't, you don't smoke that much or you're working on it or you don't drink that much. You're working on it. So much so that you have more respect for yourself. You have more love for yourself. This is why you are not trauma bonding. This is why you're not interested in people like that anymore. This is why you're going to find you're not attracting people like that anymore. Mm -hmm. Sir, please clarify six of points. Yes. Like I said, I can't make this up. You have a deep life changing desire, Scorpio. This is major arcana. To only be in relationships where equal reciprocity is given is exercised is implemented okay only that you're not settling anymore spirit can i get one on ace of cups because you know you deserve it you know you're worth it look at this and you have a new love coming in this you're ready now you're ready now now your person comes 
Now the right person comes. Mm -hmm. Because your energy just pulled them right to you. Whoever I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to an emperor or empress. You do not chase, you attract. No longer are you running people down. Why are you cheating on me? Why don't you want to be with me? Why are you hiding from me? Why are you lying, cheating, stealing? No, 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 no. You're not into none of that. You're about if you want to be with me, come and show me you want to be with me. You come for me because I'm not going nowhere. Scorpio, recognize. I love it. Hmm. You have new love coming in because you're whole and you're healed. Yes. Because you're at peace with yourself. You're no longer fighting or have that inner conflict within yourself and fighting with other people, fighting yourself, fighting with other people, fighting in your relationship. No, you're not doing any of that. Whoever I'm speaking to, you value peace of mind and peace of soul. Mm -hmm. You're not dealing with anyone who doesn't bring that into your life. Mm -hmm. Because they have to match your energy now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Spirit, please clarify the hermit. Spirit said, now you're ready to be in a relationship. Now you're ready to be in a real relationship because you're not trauma bonding anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. I love it. Spirit, can I get one on this um, six of coins and desire? Scorpio, you're ready for something real and it's coming. Mm hmm some of you have someone who's hating on your spirituality, but that's on them. Who cares? Right? It's because they see how much you've elevated and they can't reach you anymore. Okay. And a lot of you, it's your spirituality. Okay. And it's whoever I'm speaking to, you know that you are a soul creating a human experience and you are conscious of the experience that you are creating. You understand what I'm saying? You are intentional about what you do. That is why you can say, I'm not interested in anybody who like has narcissistic tendencies or doesn't think that they need to be respectful or thinks that they want to cheat or I'm going to be their side piece or be their sneaky link. You're not, that stuff just turns you right off because you're conscious about what kind of relationship you want to be in and what kind of, in all walks, right? Friendships, family, re romantic relationships, even coworkers I'm hearing. You're just not dealing with that stuff anymore. This is being intentional about the reality you are creating. You are intentionally surrounding yourself with better, higher vibrational energies. And some people are hating on you because of that, okay? This three of cups, you got three of cups in reverse twice. Some people are talking shit about it. They think that you act like your shit don't stink. They think that you think that you're better than them now. That's not what it is, Scorpio. You're just better than the experiences that they create. That's all. Right? They can easily level up, fix up their energy, change their life. Because some of you, you stop talking to some people and they think that you, you think you're bougie now because you're all spiritual. No. No. That's not what it is. You just want better for your life. You know that you deserve better. And you're creating that for yourself. It is bossy energy though. I'm not going to lie, Scorpio. Because you're not asking anyone permission to be happy. You're not asking anyone permission to live. No. You're not doing the doormat thing anymore. And some people, they're not used to that energy. They're not used to you not bending back and over backwards and twisting yourself up like a pretzel to please them and make sure they're all right. No. And Scorpio, I know you. I'm a Scorpio too, okay? Your fuck off game is real serious. <laughs> when someone gets you there, it's like they never existed. But some of you, you would keep going back to somebody or allowing certain people back into your life because of these toxic trauma bonds here, right? Because there were still parts of you that needed to heal. Parts that were broken, parts that were damaged, parts that were hurt. So they were still able to hook onto you through those avenues, right? Mm -hmm. Through that energy. Not anymore. Because it's gone. 
someone in this collective, there was someone, I don't know if it was a family member, for some of you had a parent that would say things to trigger you or a lover that would say things to trigger the shit out of you. Mm -hmm. Get you all up in your emotions, all up in your feelings. You want to cuss everybody and break stuff and piss this shit. Now you're like, whatever. If, if this person can even say anything to you now, because whoever I'm speaking to, you don't even deal with these people. They're blocked on every platform, blocked from your phone, blocked from your life. Hmm. These people try to say something to trigger you. You're just like, what? Who are you talking to? <laughs> if they even get a response from you, right? Because whoever I'm speaking to, you don't care, right? Not your monkey, not your circus. And you already know what they're trying to do anyway. They get zero response from you. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you have somebody who's trying to find a way to contact you or reach out to you, I'm hearing. And someone in this collective, somebody... um. They tried to contact you and you gave them. <laughs> you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing the Scorpio stinger in my third eye. You gave them the smoke. Yeah, you did. And then you blocked and deleted them. And they're still, just to let you know, FYI, somebody is still shocked at the fact that you dealt with them that way, that you spoke to them that way. <laughs> And then you cut them off like they're nobody. Scorpio, you have some people dumbfounded. That's why they're talking shit about you. That's why they're saying you're acting like you're better than them. Because you refuse to be people's doormats now. Yes. You're speaking up for yourself. You're standing up for yourself. Exercising head over heart. Making those decisions. Mm-hmm. I don't care how much history we have. I don't care how much kids we have. I don't care that I came out of your body. You did not treat me good and I am holding your ass accountable for that. You gotta go. Boy, bye or bye, Felicia. And you mean it. Whoever I'm speaking to, you say that with your whole chest. Mm-hmm. Wow. Sorry, can I get one on Ace of Cups? Ace of Cups and Union. Scorpio, this is a newfound love that you found for yourself. And this is why you're attracting that. This is real love that you have for yourself. You are protecting your temple. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be practicing celibacy. Or you're very, very, I'm hearing on Beyonce, I'm stingy with my love. You're not just sleeping with anybody. And I'm speaking to an evolved Scorpio here, okay? Who recognizes that their temple is their home. And not just anybody can come up in there. Okay? <laughs> I cannot make this up. Didn't I just say this? Look at this. STD. I can't make this shit up. Scorpio, you are guarding yourself like you're Fort fucking Knox. You're damn right. Not just anybody can get up in there. No. I'm hearing get up in these walls. <laughs> Scorpio, stop this, please. Good for you, okay? Because some of you, you know, you intrinsically, intuitively know that some people, they either have some sexually transmitted diseases or sexually transmitted demons, and you're not having it. You're not inviting that shit into your life. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you know that someone from the past wants to get with you and wants to have a brand new, passionate beginning in love. Right? You know what they really come in with. Even if they don't know. Some of you in this collective, you know that someone has some kind of STD, but they don't know it yet. You're keeping your ass as far away from that person as possible. <laughs> they, they're trying to find you, Scorpio. They're trying to find you. Mm -hmm. Wow. I cannot make this up, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, can I get one on STD? Can I get one on STD? Someone needs to get a checkup. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, this is also a warning from spirit. You're going to have people, because your energy is so Jean-Claude Van Damme, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I don't know how else to say it. Like, It's so whole, it's so healed, it's so inviting. You're going to be attracting energies like a moth to a flame. Okay? 
So Spirit said, remember, you are the prize. Remember to protect your energy. Remember to protect your first home, which is your temple, your body, mind, body, soul. Because you have some people that are not all that clean, okay? Spiritually, physically, they're not all that clean. Spirit, can I get one on STD? Be aware. There's somebody who wants to get with you. This person will come in a disguise of, I really want to be with you. This is someone who will give to you too. Okay? This is a side story that's coming in. Someone's going to come. They want a brand new passionate beginning. This person, they may be a soulmate to you or there's a very strong soul tie there. This is someone who will give to you to, to uh, I, I want to say sweeten you up, butter you up. This person has an STD, Scorpio, okay? Now, it could be a spiritual STD, like they have a succubus or an incubus attached to them, or they have a physical one, okay? Yes, look at this. Shit. <sighs> the death card. Scorpio, be careful. Because someone has an STD that you cannot cure. Mm-hmm. Shit. Scorpio spirit is speaking to you. Do not be fooled. For some of you, you have someone who's a whole spiritual hater. Spiritual. <laughs> spiritual hater. They do not like that you are so elevated. Mm-hmm. This is someone who's going to come around. Like they want something with you. Like they're so in love with you. You're the perfect match for them. This person is sick, Scorpio. I feel like you already know. You do know. You know this. You know this. Some of you, you're going to hear that somebody is sick and someone passed away from an STD. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this is what people are going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. Someone, oh, Scorpio, some of you are dealing with someone that was very toxic, okay, had a lot of addictions, they could have had a sex addiction. This person went around trauma bonding with other people and caught something that can't cure. This person, when they found out, or when they find out, they may go and tell other people that you got them sick, but this person's going to pass away. And you're going to be fine. And then people are going to know that they were lying. For some of you, you have some people that are talking about you saying that you have some kind of STD, but you don't. Mm -hmm. Spirit said you don't need to explain yourself to anybody because anybody that really knows you knows that that's not true. So let them talk because results always speak for themselves and the truth always comes out. Spirit said whatever is done in the dark will come to the light. Mm hmm but someone is going to pass away here from an STD. This, this person could get AIDS, but it's something that can't cure. Wow. Be aware, Scorpio. Spirit, can I just get one more? Can I get one more? Wow. Yeah. The lovers in reverse. The lovers in reverse. This is someone who's non-committal. For some of you, you have someone coming back around in a disguise like you guys are supposed to be together. This is someone who wants, who just wants to sleep with you, Scorpio. Do not touch this person with a 10-foot fucking pole, okay? Because this person will get you sick with something that you cannot cure, Scorpio. And it ends up in death. But this person caught... Whatever disease that they caught because they don't want to settle down. Someone has this really bad sex addiction and it comes from trauma. Someone could have been molested or sexually assaulted as a child and it was never dealt with. I'm hearing somebody was exposed to sexual energy way too early. Whoever you're dealing with, Scorpio, they view you as home. This is someone you know. 
They view you as home. For some of you, this person knows that they're sick and they're going to come back. It's like they know they're going to die. This, this went real. Spirit, what is this about? Oh. Spirit said someone in this collective, you need to know this. Okay? It's important for you to know this, to be aware. But it's like somebody knows that they're going to die and they want to come home. They want to come and die there. Like they want to be around you. They want to spend their last days with you. Oh, man. Spirit, can I get one on this song? Um, the Hermit. I feel like crying, Scorpio. I don't... I, this is the first time ever in a reading that I pulled a death card and felt it so strongly. Ever. Spirit, please clarify the hermit and destiny in reverse. Your ancestors are helping you with this, so just be cool. Yeah. Scorpio, this reading started with you breaking generational curses and ended with you breaking generational curses. Breaking patterns of generational trauma. Scorpio, you have a big assignment here, okay? And I feel like you know that. Whoever I'm speaking to with the Hermit card, you know that. Some of you, when this person passes away, somebody you are going to... So... Someone is going to come to you and you're going to immediately see that something's not right with them. Okay. Now they're, they could either like, I'm being shown somebody who once looked healthy and now they look drawn. Their cheekbones are all sucked in. Their eye sockets are like sunken in. Someone does not look well. And you're going to be thinking about how spirit protected you and how you dodged a whole bullet. Like how things could have gotten so bad. You're going to be thinking about how grateful you are that you broke these generational curses and patterns of trauma because that could have been you. Mm -hmm. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are going to be so grateful that you respect your body. That you care about the type of attention you get and who you get it from. That's important to you now. It's not just about getting attention. Right? Hmm. Just like not all money is good money, not all attention is good attention. You want attention from God or you want attention from the devil? Because there's a difference. Whoever I'm speaking, you're going to be, so whoever I'm speaking to or whoever spirit is speaking to, when I say you're going to be doing a piece of introspection, you're going to be like, fuck. Spirit saved me. Hmm. You're going to realize just how special you are. Because that could have been you. Hmm. And this is your ancestors letting you know that they got this one in the bag. They got your back. You are supported. You are protected. You are taken care of. Even on days when you feel like you're alone, you are not. And your assignment is too powerful and too, too profound on this planet. You're too important, Scorpio. Spirit's not going to let anyone sabotage you and Spirit's not going to let you sabotage yourself. That's how important you are. Wow. Spirit, can I just get one more in closing? Can I get one more in closing? Never have I ever seen a spread like this. Shit. So can I get one more? The star. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, you're going to realize, if you haven't realized by now, that you are healing. <sighs> Emotional pain, emotional trauma, generations. This is bloodlines, bloodlines. 
that you are healing. Your ancestors, <laughs> aw, your ancestors want you to know that they're proud of you. They're giving you a standing ovation. Because you, are, I'm getting goosebumps, you have healed. The, the tears are coming. I'm so sorry, Scorpio. I'm an empath. I'm sensitive. But you have healed. It's like you you did, I'm hearing you took one for the team. So your healing is their healing. When they weren't allowed to love themselves, when they weren't allowed to know their worth, when they weren't allowed freedom, independence, you got that for them. When they didn't know the difference between a trauma bond and a true love bond because they, were, they weren't healed. When all they knew was abuse, you healed that, Scorpio. Standing fucking ovation. That's why you are protected the way you are protected, okay? So if they have to let someone fuck up so bad that you remove them from your life, friend, family, lover, it na mata. And let them come back into your life sick, disease-ridden, and on their deathbed to show you just how important you are, how protected you are. They're willing to do that. Scorpio, when this happens, you're going to realize that something was not meant to be with this person and they were always trying to keep you in an illusion. This is somebody who was trying to trauma bond with you again, but you are no longer traumatized. And you did it, Scorpio. You healed. You healed a bloodline, a lineage of pain and trauma and hurt and poverty and lack. You did that, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.